so right before I let my my buyers know that I'll be sending them the itinerary, so I'll map the properties um, in order of, say, I just went to San Jose a couple of weeks. I, I picked the furthest home to do first and then work my way back to Oakland, basically, and that was my order. Um, and then beforehand, I'm also taking notes. I, I have I do all my work in my iPhone notes. And so I have a note for that showing of each property and what I need to know, whether it's an offer date, whether it, how many days on market it is, or what information I get from that agent, because I call all the agents beforehand as well to get a scoop on the house. I don't want to show my clients a home that they can't even get into. So I, I make sure I do some due diligence before we go on those tours. So then by the time I come back to the client with our itinerary, I can already say, oh, this house will be in contract, but they're looking at backup offers, or this house is expecting to accept an offer non-contingent. We might not want to go see this one today. Is there another one you want to go see? So I do some due diligence beforehand. Um, I typically do not send, share, or look at disclosures until I know that there's a real interest in a property. Um, it can be overkill sometimes, and it's a lot of unnecessary work for me sometimes. So I'll wait. Um, I do things a little backwards once I get to the uh, to the, the appointments. A couple brokerages ago, I was taught to do the um, the buyer's consultation on the spot on the first meeting, and so now that's a part of my flow when I show a house. Is I'm asking all of those fact finding questions as well as answering their questions, and that's my small talk. I don't have a lot of dad jokes or anything. I just, I, I have my flow and that's, that's pretty much my consultation. So after that, after we do our showing and we've looked at these properties, I've taken notes inside of that, that uh, iPhone note. And I know what they like, what they don't like, what they might want to see disclosures on. And so I recap it after we see our last property, I'll follow up with you on offer date, questions you had, disclosures, whatever it is. So there's a recap of what actions we're going to take after we leave those, uh, after we leave the showing. 